What's up you SNDL holders and money makers welcome back to the channel a million dollar question is whether Sundial growers will be an OTC play will that stay on Nasdaq now if you already see right here it is trading on Nasdaq they are at the verge of getting delisted if they don't get up to one dollar price point which is Nasdaq's minimum bid price rule requirement we have been seeing that the company has been doing a ton in terms of acquisition in terms of the volume as well as uh, the revenue and profitability is right around the corner the company is going in the right direction for the most part don't take my words for granted do your own due diligence but in march 2022 the q1 and at 2022 they did 17.6 million dollars in revenue which was 22 million in q4 now you want to remember that mostly q4 is one of the larger revenue quarter for many companies and the uh, SNDL is not an ex uh, exception now if you take a look last year they did only eight nine point eighty nine million dollars so let's say Take it with a grain of salt, but $10 million in revenue. This time around, they did 17.6. So maybe more than 75% overall gain, 78% year over year change in terms of the revenue. So the company is definitely in the right direction, but the stock is not doing such a great moves into the stock market. And we'll be talking about that, whether it'll stay on NASDAQ or it will become an OTC play, because if it becomes an OTC play, Guess what? There is a problem. And uh, this is 797, almost $800 million market cap company. So I'll be talking about what's going to happen to Sundial. What are the dates that you want to remember? How it can go above $1 price point? How it can meet the price rule requirement, minimum bid price rule requirement from NASDAQ? And we'll also talk about one of the biggest news that uh, SNDL enters into a bid agreement for Zenabis Global Inc. Which which will also create some momentum into the stock price and you don't want to miss out on all this kind of good stuff because this is what brings in energy into any stock price so let's talk about all this s and dl s and dl shareholders i want you to hit the like button if you own s and dl or if you're trying to get into s and dl you want to hit the like button we need at least 150 likes and onto this video so that we can reach out to more and more people because volume is the key if you see what SNDL is doing, there are more than 202,000 watchers on stock tweets. That means more than 200,000 people are looking into SNDL. Either they bought it or they sold it or they're trying to get into it. So on and or maybe all of the above. And uh, we want to spread the word out. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. 150 likes, subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. Now SNDL wasn't really a great day today, 2% up. However, the market was zigzag as well nasdaq ended with almost one percent up uh, dow jones was up one percent as well same for s p 500 as you see on my screen for five days we are down 11 percent for s and dl for one month we are down 14 percent so pretty flat we're down 46 percent down in last six months which is we cut in half we went all the way to 70 or 81 cents as it shows right here for the year range 98 cents and 29 cents can we go up about 98 cents because that's what SNDL badly, badly needs to stay on NASDAQ. Now, what's going on with it? Sundial grower stock should shareholders vote for a reverse split. That's one of the way or the workaround for the stock and the company to stay on NASDAQ. So what they can do is they can have a reverse split. But for that, they need the approval from the shareholders. With Sundial growers struggling to meet the NASDAQ's minimum bid price rule requirement for share, it is a reverse split share split, which will be the best solution for the company or for the cannabis company. Now, for this one, you want to remember that there is one date in July, which is when the shareholders are going to whether approve or reject. And second date is August that I'm going to talk about because which is when nothing if nothing happens, Nasdaq will tell them to get out of the stock market stock exchange nasdaq exchange which is going to be a problem now take it with grain of salt i'm not a financial advisor nor i'm a certified professional i'm just sharing my research and analysis with you so take it with once again do your own due diligence this is a penny stock this is a super risky cannabis um, uh, industry as well so it is struggling to meet the nasdaq minimum bid price rule requirement for share stock has failed to trade about one dollar per share for 30 consecutive days which is when they got the notice and there are a few options left for sundial 
instead of seeking another extension from NASDAQ, should shareholders vote for a reverse split? So back in the days, they asked for extension. They did get it. And NASDAQ sometimes approves, sometimes do not. Now, NASDAQ has been granted another chance to meet NASDAQ's minimum bid requirement by August 8, 2022. But for trading above $1 for 30 consecutive days will be a challenge for Sundial even if it grows. Because think about it, they will have to go 3x from where they are right now. And that may not be possible, especially into the current market situation. As we see that we are, we are talking about recession, we're talking about market struggling, we're talking about the housing market going down, the interest rates are going up, the inflation is still going to be a challenge for next few quarters. The cannabis company shares are currently is around 30 cents precisely 33 cents per share the last time it traded about one share one dollar per share was more than a year ago and that makes sense we were only at 98 cents for the last 52 weeks year range so we did not really go above one dollar now sundial should fail the, if the sundial fail to meet minimum bid re rule requirement for nasdaq the stock may be delisted from the exchange. Now, if you ask me my personal opinion, this is not going to happen because shareholders know that this stock needs to be on NASDAQ and they're going to vote. In my opinion, I'm pretty hopeful that they're going to vote for reverse stock split. Sundial's delisting from NASDAQ would be the worst thing that could happen to the stock because less eyeballs, less and less people will be start uh, trading into the stock and it'll hurt the volume. Now, when it hurts the volume, if they're not on NASDAQ, NYSE or major stock exchange, that becomes the problem, especially on OTC market that you already know. When the shares are delisted, they can no longer be traded on a stock exchange and they're limited to trading over the counter or OTC. If you're not familiar with that, we are also looking into a few OTC stocks um, that we are super successful and profitable as well. If you think about uh, ILUS, uh, which is OTC, CUIBL, another OTC stock. On the other hand, UAMY, which is uh, which is one of the great stock and it is on NASDAQ. They're limited to trading over the counter at the moment. Once that happens, there is a decentralized market and the main risk for OTC is increased credit or default risk associated with each contract, system risk, less lack of transparency due to the liquidity issues and whatnot, and large bid ask spread that can make very difficult to trade in the stock market. That's why we need reverse split. A better solution would be a reverse split as this article mentions. Merging the company shares from a smaller number of shares in the float would be helpful. Decreasing li liquidity will be another factor as well and proportionally increasing the share price and that is going to be the option. Now, is Sundal still a good investment? Based on the street and this author, looking at the company's business fundamentals, the expert believe that Sundal is still a good investment. ATB Capital Market Analyst Federico Gomes, so this is the author, thinks that the Sundal is a good opportunity to take the advantage of the Canadian cannabis market. He likes the company that is diversified in terms of the portfolio and believes that the stock can offer best risk reward alternative in the sector. Now, once again, Penny stock risk versus reward you can do 2x 3x 5x 10x and on the flip side you can lose the money as well so do not invest your entire portfolio just in i usually invest more not more than 10 percent of my total portfolio into penny stock into the small cap stocks and especially when it's otc stock you want to be very careful now this can go either way now sundial strong balance sheet gives it a defensive advantage the analyst also thinks that the rapid transformation of sundial's business has been difficult to track and that the picture will become more clearer after we have seen the results from the current quarter that they already talked about in Q2, which will include the acquisition of the leaker retail Alcana that we already are waiting to hear what happened to that. Now, Gomes also estimated that it is 31 cents per share net cash and investment signaling that the markets are undervaluing Sundal's cannabis operations. And so does for many other stocks, especially when the market is down and the, it's leaker operation, retail operation that can provide an important upside from the current level that they are right now at 30, 33 cents. They also has a price target of 80 cents, which is impressive because I wanted to also show you on Yahoo, we are seeing one year target of 57 cents, which is more than or close to double than what we see in terms of the price point. If you take a look at what the analysts think for June, we are seeing five analysts rating. One is saying a buy, four are saying a hold. There is no sell, no underperform. 
and no issues are flagged by just the analysts just yet. Now, that's another opportunity that you want to think about that 33 cents goes to 80 cents on Dell shares. There is a buy recommendation, at least from this article, from this analyst that you see on my screen. Now, looking further into Sundell Growers that has another acquisition target in its crosshair and it is nothing but the Xenobis product. Now, Sundial Growers entered into the bid agreement for Xenobis Global Inc's asset. Now, what that means is this is once again a massive opportunity. The bid agreement is subject to approval by the Superior Court CCAA proceedings and to potential alternative to bids pursue and to bidding procedure that will follow. Now, all this amount dominated in Canadian dollars unless otherwise noted. So we know that this is a substantial deal. The asset covered by the bid agreement includes 380,000 square foot indoor growing facility located in this particular New Brunswick area with any annual production capacity of approximately 46,000 kilogram of dried cannabis and 15,000 kilograms of extraction capacity which is going to add a ton more capacity for this particular um, business not only for Xenobis but also for Sundial growers in general the facility is also received EU GMP certification provided a license by the facility export internationally in Israel Malta United Kingdom and the EU market European market Xenobis group has also joint venture agreement with Zen farm limited which is in Malta allowing the commercial bulk import into Malta from the facility in this uh, reference and the bid agreement also provides an acquisition of a decommission 50, 255,000 square feet indoor facility in other locations as well. So this is going to be a big, big opportunity. What happens with publicly filed statement in MDNA? This particular contribution from Xenobis Group is consolidated net revenue of $11.1 million in the second fiscal quarter of 2022. The Hexos international revenue net revenue increased by 36% to $8.2 million in the second fiscal quarter as well. So these are some stunning numbers that you want to look into. It has been getting a lot of attention in the marketplace, into the uh, publishing media, and people are noticing that this is going to be a pretty big uh, in, step forward into the positive direction for s and dl now you want to also think about the volume as we know that the average volume 70.6 76.3 million we are seeing have the volume into the trading session this is today's volume on friday ah, right after the market close we are seeing 31 million in volume which is lower than the average day take a look 68 million 64 million so on and so forth but the stock price is pretty flat from 34 cents we are still 33 34 cents and we could not really go above we did go to 39 40 cents can we go back again probably yes when the market situation gets better so you want to keep an eye out there is a quick profit of 20 percent if you're all also invested in s and if you're buying new stocks but once again don't keep buying make sure that you diversify your portfolio take a look at this particular chart that i wanted to quickly show you where you see that the moving average is 40 cents and right now we are at 32 cents now that means that most of the time if you take a look at this red line for s and dl that's a moving average this moving average is more than the real-time price point can we go above yes we have seen some spikes take a look right here 81 cents and we got back down once again we are 33 cents one at one point, it is going to cross the moving average and it will go above. If you take a look at the RSA, which is the green bar right here, 42, not an over, but not an oversold condition. You want to take it with a grain of salt, but that is looking pretty healthy. That will help s and to move in the right direction. Just wanted to share with you, not really a game changer, RSI or any moving average or anything along those lines. We're, while we're waiting for this reverse stock split as to what the investors are saying, we will keep, we'll, we'll keep watching. I'll keep you posted with that. But you also want to know Notice that this is people stock. This is a retail stock. This is a meme stock, if you will. There are more than 200,000 people are watching on stock tweets, which is once again, in my opinion, very positive sign. We have seen that for HCMC. We have seen for many other stocks, AMC, GME, CTRM, HCMC, SNDL. These are the stocks that people were looking into. There can be another rally that we may see for the small cap. For the most part, small cap got hammered really bad. So when the market situation gets better, they'll be the one who leading the charge. So with that, I just want to share this information with you. Hope you like it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.